everyone, I decided to take this video today to show you how to cut claws. Um, excuse the boys please, they've decided to have a crow off right as I decide to start videoing. Um, here we've got Bubbles, she's clucky so she's very angry at me but hopefully she'll sit still so it's easy to show you because I don't have a tripod. So when I cut claws I have a pair of dog clippers that I use, I just find that they're you're cranky, I know. I find that they're the easiest to use. Um, so before you use the dog clippers, I have an antibacterial wipe here. I just like to disinfect the clippers and then I disinfect the claws. You can just use like warm soapy water instead, but since I've got these on standby, I prefer to use them. And the reason you're disinfecting their claws and stuff beforehand is just in case you do happen to cut into the quick which the quick is the living part of the nail because most of the nail is just keratin it grows just like our fingernails but inside there there's a part that's living it's um nerve and blood and flesh and all these things so if you cut that that will bleed um if you do cut the quick it does hurt them uh it takes around two weeks to heal up properly but i've you know cut into them before and they've never got infected or anything it's just not nice so Please try and avoid it. Um, if you only just nip the end of the quick, there'll be a spot of blood, but it'll dry pretty quick. Whereas if you cut it, it does bleed a lot. Um, it's usually not hard to avoid the quicks. You probably can't see it, unfortunately. When your animal has white claws, because it'll be this pink... The lighting's just going to crap. I think you can vaguely see it there. It's this pink line just in the nail. That in there is the quick, and the rest of this is just dead nail. You can cut that. Don't cut the pink. Um, so that just suppl um, supplies blood to the growing nail. Yes, I know. I know, I'm touching your feet. Um... If you let the nails grow too long, the quick does grow with them. So Bubbles' claws are a bit overgrown because she's been clucky. She hasn't been, um, <laughs> yes, she hasn't been wearing them down outside because she's been sitting on imaginary eggs. Haven't you? Yes. Um, if you let it grow too long, don't cut into the quick, obviously. You just take off the very end and over time the quick will be pulled back. So you just have to cut it every couple of weeks. now um, so I'll see if I can try and prop this up and get a video of cutting them there we go that middle toe is a good one you can see the big pink, um, pink line which is her quick so don't cut that but you can cut all of that end off that's just clear just the very end of the nail that and cut and we can see there's no blood. I didn't hit anything. So this one, I can take off a decent chunk there and cut. And it doesn't want to focus, but there's no blood. So I didn't hit anything. You can see I've still left plenty of space between the quick and the nail. After you cut them, if you want, you can get a nail file. <laughs> and file it back down into a point. But if they're running around, um, they'll do that themselves anyway. <laughs> I know. See, didn't hit anything. is Odie. Um, same token applies for reptiles. Let's see if it will focus. I've cut his not too long ago so they're pretty good but reptiles are a bit harder to see because they've got that black line at the front but you can see there 
there's a difference in colour. He's got the quick there and then all of this is overhang. You can cut the white part. So for lizards, since they're so little, I don't use the dog clippers. I use just um, human fingernail clippers. Odie doesn't like these. So we'll see if he'll let me cut one as an example. Nail, work out where the quick is, into the clippers, and just the end. And then we check for blood. No blood, so he's all good. I'm just showing you one as an example, but I'd go through and cut all these claws in one go. Once again, if you've got like hard surfaces like this in their tank, um, they should wear it down themselves. I rarely have to clip the lizards, but it's good to keep an eye on it just in case. Hey, Yodi. He's tired at the moment because it's winter here, so it's getting cold. So he's the last one still awake. Hey. Oh, angry. Okay. Anyway, that's how you clip claws.